Whoa, whoa, again. Hey, you guys. Hi. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Yeah. Hi. Welcome to Tuesday Experience. Where, where we chew. And talk about our experience. That's right. Oh, my gosh. You heard it first. Well, how are you, my love? I'm good. I'm good. Good. How about you? I'm doing good. You just, we're here in December. It's currently raining in Los Angeles. It's freezing. Yeah. And we already talked about our, check out our old our video before, because we talked about winter and that sucked because I hate winter. Me too. It's a little chilly. I don't like cold. I'm over the cold. I'm over the cold. I'm over it. I want it to be blazing hot, sun, heat, burn sensation. Burn me. Burn me sensation. Because I'm cold. I want to be tan. Yes. Yes. What, well, are we, what are we eating today, my love? Taco Bell, sponsor us. Taco Bell! We got some tacos. Sponsor us. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. So we, shall we at, like, have a bite together? Yeah. Toast? We can't, like, cheers directly, but. Oh, yeah, that's right. But let's cheers. Cheers. To a fabulous, wonderful new year. Tuesday. Tuesday is going to thrive. Cling, 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 cling. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't care what anybody says. Taco Bell hits. Slaps. Slaps. 12 a.m.? So good. Slaps. Mm-hmm. This one, you're just like, you're just, you just need a little morsel, a little some, 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 some. There it is. There it is. All the flavor packed in a punch. Today's topic we're going to discuss is our dreams. Our dreams. Would you like to start, my love? I guess mine would be kind of short. You know, I really don't have dreams. Oh. oh. Like actual dreams. Um... When I was younger, I probably did a little bit more. Okay. But as I've gotten older, I don't really have that many dreams, to be honest. Isn't it a thing where it's a realm, realm sleep? REM sleep? REM. REM sleep. What's what the fuck is realm? Um, yeah. REM sleep? Mm -hmm. And that you are conscious enough to not have a dream. Or am I saying it backwards? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm trying to think the last time I've had one. Um... I have a few when I was younger that were pretty scary and I still remember them. Um, nightmares. Yeah, nightmares. But besides that, I don't really have any recent. So it is actually kind of weird to me. I'm like, is this normal? Does everybody dream? Am I mess missing out? Like what's going on? I don't think it's, I don't think, I, I think it's normal because the fact that your body, it's not reacting to the world. Your body's just dream is, is just sleeping. It's just and out. Huh? Because there is a pro and a con to when it comes to dreaming. True. Are you a frequent dreamer? Every day. Every day? Every single day. Every single day? Every day. What am I messing up? Nothing. I but the problem is so for me. I dream every single day of my life where they're so intense and so real that it scares me. They're not nightmares. Some are nightmares, but others are so real to me that my body like just moves, moves, moves. And I look like a tarantula when I'm waking up because my shirt's like all the way up to here. One, one, um, so one, um, Short is like inverted in sight. I don't know. It's just, but my dreams. I'm inverted short. Like yeah. Pant, pant Literally in my, my underwear. <laughs> my dreams are most likely of uh, mystery, sci-fi, uh, war, uh, like a movie. And um, I can, I can like recollect almost half of my dreams in my life that have hit me, excuse me, so much that it's so crazy to me because I've lost sleep because of it. I, um... Because of your dreams? Yes. 
because at one point I was blinking a lot. This happened twice in my life where um, when you blink a lot, it's because of exhaustion and because you're not getting enough sleep. It's because the dream, see that's the con, is where your dreams are keeping you well, up rem, at night. REM sleep, you know what REM stands for? No. Rapid eye movement. Oh. So when you're when you're in your REM sleep, your eyes are like doing this weird thing, but your eyes are closed. Okay. So that's what rapid eye movement, REM, stands for. Okay. Tell me if I'm wrong. Someone tell me if I'm wrong. I think I'm, I don't think I am, but I'm just making sure. I wish we could look at this up right now, but. My cousin, shout out Marvin, he uh, told me that, Scott, you need to start sleeping during the day just to take a power mm -hmm. nap. Started doing that and I don't, whenever I do a power nap, I don't dream. Interesting. I, isn't it weird? And why did he say you need to do that? Because then I could stop blinking because I'm exhausted. Ah. Yeah, my eyes were hurting. I was so tired. I was yawning all the time. It's because my dreams were always keeping me up at night. What's the craziest dream that you've ever had? Okay. So... I'm in, dream. I'm in this world where I'm in a troop and the, someone's a werewolf. <laughs> oh, I know. I know it gets weirder. I'm ready. Someone's a werewolf. These are mythical creatures. We're in a war zone. I hear, I hear just ships flying and everything going. There are shelves on the wall. I open one, I fly in into a shelf, I close it, I get out. Um, I start going, I don't know why, but it's like I'm attacking people, we're trying to say, and most of my dreams, you're not gonna believe this. I'm chewing gum, but I have to do this because it's like Laffy Taffy because it doesn't end. And I have to feel it in my mouth in order to like pull it all out so I can end, so I can speak. Because in my dreams I can't speak. Interesting. Yeah. What about you? I don't dream. Oh yeah. So I'm like, wow. Uh, it's so funny because I have a few friends and it's a, it cracks me up because I don't dream. So maybe it's just like a semi bit of jealousness, but I'm always like, but like, I want to dream and they tell me all their dreams and I'm like, who cares? Who cares? It's a dream. You didn't really actually do it. It's not real. It didn't exist. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. But at the same time, you're just like, maybe I'm just a little jealous. Oh, that's the thing. It's like, cause what, what, what can, what can trigger a dream? That's what I would like to know. What can trigger one? Because it is. So for me, my recent, that was, that the was when I was, up. that's true. My, um, that would, that dream that I just told you guys was when I was 10 years old. It's that, it's that how I remember it. My recent dream. Okay. I, for some reason, I'm in a Kardashian's house. Kris Jenner and Ky K Kendall Jenner. I think like I'm in like as an extra for a photo shoot. Cause I'm wearing fishtail it's blue and Fish. pink you mean fishnets no i'm i'm a mermaid oh yes i remember you saying that sorry and i'm jump hopping 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 to every room and then i i end up in this room where it's black bed black couches white walls and then chris jenner is coming up to me she goes kendall doesn't hate you you're fine like I was, I thought I did something horrible to her. So then I go back and then I end up in the pool. Like the mermaid you are. Right. You said, Someone I tell don't know. me what was that? I, it was so real. Sometimes my dreams, I, I think consciously are so real in my head that I pay attention more to what's going on. My surroundings, this, that. And also it's just like, 
I don't know. It's just weird. It is weird. Because I, I, I see it in my dream. The, the worst dream I ever had was, okay, I was like so young. I was okay. in my, I was in my room um, and it was a dream and Michael Jackson, Prince, and a mummy okay. were outside my Michael bed Jackson, Prince, and, and a mummy. mummy were outside my bed. So I was so scared that I'd cover my head. And every time I would go like this and I wake up, they were there. And then I went like this, and then they were gone. But Michael Jackson was in his thriller outfit. Every time you wake up, it's Michael Jackson like, hee hee. Yeah, and that's what it was. Because I was so scared, because I was like, <laughs> oh my God, who were these people in my room? Oh man, I can I only imagine. I couldn't. You know, I was, Sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was like, I have to... It's interesting because I was going to tell you about the one dream that I have had that I do recall. There's a couple of them. And I've told him one of them. I don't even know if I'm going to say it because it's really fucking weird. Like, something's wrong in my brain. And I was really young when I had it. So I don't know what. But <laughs> I know. All of mine are scary. If I ever have them, they're never like butterflies and fairies. They're like... Trauma. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> pretty much what it is. Shoot, probably. Um, but the f the one that I remember most recently, and this always freaks me out. In general, you know, like those little things that like shine on the wall, like lights, even or like those like lights that they put on at night that look kind of like blue or green or that stars. Not stars, but those little globe things that like project color. Yes. So my friend had a CD player that did exactly that. It projected the light onto the wall. So in my dream, I have the dream. I'm actually in real life sleeping in this bed and I could see the projection of the light on the wall when I go to sleep. So in my dream, I basically, all this is, it's, all this is, is I wake up in my dream and I see the light. Then I look in the corner of the room and then all I see is a human in a red cloak. Just a giant red cloak, everything is red. And so then I believe in my head I'm dreaming. And so I wake myself out of my dream multiple times. Oh. And the last like four times that I was waking up, um, the red cloak guy was right next to my bed. So each time I woke up, it was that red cloak person. And then when I actually woke up, I literally woke up and I like couldn't, like it took like, <gasps> like I just felt like every ounce of like everything came out of my body when I woke up. Cause I was like trying to scream, but when like you it wouldn't come scream. out. Yeah. It was like the real, like that kind of like, <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> Did you watch a movie before that at your friend's house? I don't know because the other thing is, is I don't like scary movies because I watched The Exorcist when I was like 12. If anybody, I'm telling you, this girl, her name is Allison. I went to junior high and high school with her. I won't say her last name. She told me about this. I remember yes, this, guys. I remember I'm this. telling you, there was some weird shit and I watched... I watched <laughs> The Exorcist at her house when I was super young. I literally slept next to my parents' bed for weeks on end because of how scary that movie was at 11, 12 years old. But from then, I never really watched scary movies. I even to this day still don't because... I hate scary movies. They're so stupid. The last time I had a dream that I can really remember is when I was watching The Walking Dead. And then okay. I'd have zombie dreams. So then my dreams were then about zombies. And that was like basically like my dream was just zombies coming to get me. That was it. That's the worst. Yeah. I don't like that because you can't scream. Yeah. So I was just running from zombies and then that's it. But yeah, that's basically my, my dream was like that where you wake up and you, you think you're either. awake and you're not awake, but then you wake up again. That's what you said you did, right? Yes. And that's like the worst feeling. The worst I had was in a nightmare. So I was in middle school. I'll never forget this. I was in eighth grade. I was in a class and I fell asleep. I shit you not. I could hear every single person and what they're saying and the teacher. 
I'm paralyzed because I can't get up. Ugh. I can't. I'm literally trying to get up. And then finally, I did. And I was like, holy shnikes. I could hear everybody and just, but I was so like in my dream, I guess, or whatever the hell I was, that I couldn't wake up. I couldn't get up. You were just... And that's the worst. I hate those. I hate nightmares. Nightmares bother me. I like the really good dreams. You wake up and you're like, damn, that was fun. I can't tell you the last time I had one of those. It's, it's, Maybe my life is a dream, so... It always is. Life, <laughs> like, we are in and Los Angeles. Here. Oh, well, <gasps> sort of, but... <laughs> and, and... It is a dream, me. but, like, I've... Oh, my God. Like, I've had dreams where I was eating at a buffet. I was flying in the clouds. All my dreams, half of them, honestly, have been from movies that I watched the night before. So it's like your brain just utilizing that. Exactly. If I watch a scary movie, I'm in the scary movie. If I watch a fantasy, I'm in the fantasy. So it was just, it was. <sighs> you, I feel you on that. Oh, I the know. The dreams are asking to come out. Literally. It's just, <laughs> but, there, but there, there are some, okay, so some dreams I've had, I pray the night before that they continue. Because so, it, it's so crazy because like, I'll have a dream and then I'll wake up to use the bathroom and then I go back to sleep. I cannot remember where I was in that dream. Or if that, if I can't remember the dream. But it was such a good dream. I can't remember it, but it was so good. Like, it just me, I'm honestly, I'm not even kidding. It's like me on adventures. How often do you remember your dreams? Oh, like honestly, like... The ones that stand out for me, like, honestly, there's 10 good ones that I remember specifically when I was younger till now. <laughs> 10? Yeah. But what, you think you had, like, a thousand? Oh, absolutely. Like, for, or more. for dreams? Mm hmm. Probably like 10,000. But you only remember, like, 100, you said? Oh, yeah, like, I, I only or you remember. Said 10. 10, yeah. I only remember 10 of them because they're so specific. You know, me and my sisters, I swear to God, first off, my sister Evan would never lie about something like this because she does not, I don't think she'd really say that like something like magic or like sinking dreams would be a normal thing. We all have the same dream. All three of us. Yes. We were all at my grandma's house. And we were staring out the front door and she has like a gate on it. And there was like three wolves. They were coming up to the door and then they were like circling around the house and like we were in there and we're scared because like there's wolves. So yeah, we all three of us, me and my sisters, have the same exact dream. We told our dad and my mom and they think we're probably a little psycho. But I swear to God, we had the same dreams. We even like compared stories. I was like, I swear I've never heard Evan tell me about this. So then Evan said what her dream was, and we all literally have the same dream. I like that. It's where you're in sync. Yeah. Maybe we're all watching the same movie the night before. Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably not as... This, but you never know wavelengths and stuff. The brain. I, I mean, we're not saying it was on the same day, but... No, it's just the fact that, like, stuff like that does actually happen to people where dreams... And the whole thing about dreams do come true... Is I believe as well because I dreamt that. So there's always a specific, this specific dream. I'm in a building. There's camera crews everywhere. Camera crews, a director, and I'm walking down a hallway. I turn left and this is a white room with two windows, a bed, and... It, the dream ends, but I, I told myself I'm going to be in that scene, in that scene or in that scenario where I'm going to see that and be in that situation. It's so weird because it's, it's like, I don't know, like seeing that it's like, because that will come true for me. And a lot of people's dreams do come true because when you, when you manifest it or dream about it. 
It happens. Yeah, and I agree. I've dreamt of coming to Los Angeles. I remember, oh my God, I remember like watching Laguna Beach and then dreaming that I was um, on the reality show, talking to Lauren, talking to Steven and like, just like, and then I wake up and then finding out that I moved to Los Angeles. It's like, it's, it's all so weird to me. That's why I said, I'm like, I feel like sometimes I'm in a dream, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, you're just like, how did I, where did, how? The, the one that got me was I was falling from a cliff to the grass, but if I could feel it where I went like this, I got up and cause you, you, you can't die in your dreams. I'll and, it. and so I woke up. I thought that was so weird because I felt it tingle here. Like tingle, tingle, tingle. You know those like tingle, tingles? I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. I'm telling you. Up to something. The worst. Okay, so I have so many. But um, one time, this was my family. Shout out to my family. We're watching this movie. And it was a witch who turned the knights into pigs. And you had a dream about it? Oh my God, it was the worst dream of my life. Are you dreaming right now? No. It was so stupid. <gasps> they dressed, they, she turned them all into pigs. Do you? Playboy, I got this at Wasteland. Shout out, sponsor. I was just like, I kept looking I like in there this. and I was oh, like, wait, oh yeah. is that? I thought it was a peace sign. And then I was like, It's Bad little. Bunny, Playboy Bunny. I was like, it's not Bad Bunny. Oh no, Um, Playboy Bunny is now Bad Bunny. Why? Um, because they want to do clothes now. They want to do like, um, uh, just, uh, outfits, couture, stuff like that. Playboy? Yeah, you could still look it up. Playboy has clothes, but I didn't, Bad Bunny is a music guy. Yeah, they're, 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 they're collabing. Coll well, no. Their Instagram now is Bad Bunny something. Oh. And, uh, I've seen it where it's like they have a jet now, it's a Playboy lo logo, it's black, and then... People go on it just to like fly to Vegas or something. I don't know. It sounds nice. I know. Sign me up. That's Interesting. Cool. It's like, that's cute. It's a nice little jacket. I didn't even Thanks, know it boo. existed. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I think that this was at, like Urban Outfitters at one point and then they made it into Wasteland. Love it. Thanks, boo. I got this at Second Street. Shouts. It's Hollister. I know. How much you got it for? $8. Do you know, originally, these are $76 or $78. Pretty expensive. She got it for $10, guys. Eight. Oh, $8. Even better. What a dream. <laughs> dream. Ugh. What a dream. I, I sometimes, like, well, at one point, whenever I, I, I just want to sleep, I'm just like, let me sleep. And there are days where I don't dream. There are days. But most likely... Every single day I have a dream. I believe it. I wish. I wonder if other people have dreams as much. I feel like it's like 50-50. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know if it's normal for people to dream or if it's not. Do people normally dream? Do they dog not dream. dream? <laughs> have you seen the video of that dog that's like running in its sleep and then it wakes up and then is running towards the wall and just smacks the wall and hits mm -hmm. it? And like <laughs> That's why people shouldn't dream. Uh -huh. Because then you get up and start doing stuff. I think uh, you were dreaming the other day when you were sleeping on the couch. Was that? Maybe. It sounded kind of like it. Really? Yeah. I was talking in my sleep? I think so, a little bit. I've heard you talking in your sleep in your room. Really? But I'm out here and I'm like, is he talking to himself? My and brother like, does. Kind of. My Not really. Sister said that she woke up from her dream and started crying because someone died or something happened. And I was like, damn. Yeah. It affects people that much. It's like when you wake up and you're like gasping for air. Yeah, like, literally like that. Yeah. And I wanted to do that thing where they, they check your, they, they, the people like, what? <laughs> monitor this your dreams. One. He's ready for a dream. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry for yawning. Oh my God. But no, they monitor, they monitor your sleep. Oh. And they see your dreams if it's mm -hmm. like exciting or like crazy or like fun or just normal. Well, I bet you it's super expensive or something stupid. Oh yeah, where you they they sleep they have you sleep there like. I wonder what it'd be like.
They hook you up to like a million things. Your Apple watches now, they do it, kind of. What do you mean? They like track your sleep, they track your heart rate, they track all of it. What? Yeah, an Apple watch. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a whole sleep study, but it tells you like how long you've been in to certain sleep modes and all that if you just wear it. Mm. Yeah. Because my mom used was my mom used to still does wear it for her heart rate when she's sleeping, so she can see what her heart rate was during the time she was sleeping. Right. So. Kind of intriguing. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Because then you would know, like, if you're having a bad dream or if you're having a good dream. Or if your heart rate's just spiking for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awkward. Awesome. I, I never have, like, uh, sexual dreams. I never. Have. You have? Mm hmm I never do because it's like I'm in my own world kind of thing. But not recently. Oh, good. Mm-mm. -mm. Not since I lived here. It's been a long time. Oh, God, I caused that son of a gun. What? You not to have a sexual dream. Oh, no. I caused it, guys. Damn it. She walked in and she said, oh. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm not in the mood. She's like, I'm, I, I, I'm not in the mood. Dang it. Yes, I am. Oh, there you go. I'm in the mood. For no, for a sexual dream. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to talk about when it comes to dreams, because I don't have any. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of them were Disney-inspired dreams of mine. I believe that. A lot of, a lot of Disney. I believe Disney would. Uh... I love Disney. They're, the dream of, like, just fantasy is un unbinding. There's a lot of that. Maybe that's why I dreamed more when I was younger. Because I watch more TV. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Because I don't we really go. watch that much TV. I do. So. But I've been watching it? it with you. Oh. Mr. Simon, bring me a dream. I love that. Yep, I remember. Say me. Bring me a dream. Bring me a dream. Yes. <laughs> Any last words, my love? Obviously, we're both tired. Literally. <laughs> Perfect day to talk about dreams. Oh, absolutely. The rain, it's been our dark, sweaters. Gloomy. Gloomy. LA, you suck sometimes. It's just dark today. Yeah. Cold and, and freezing. It's, it's literally just, 4 o'clock. Just kidding. It's 5. Wow. 5.30. Yeah. But still pretty chilly. Trash. Where can they find you? Scott Yeldo on all platforms. Where they can they find you? Ashley Murray slash Ashley Murray hair. Hey, what's your last word? Uh, it was all a dream. Oh, I love that. I used to leave. Okay. Biggie Smalls? Yeah. Real original. Oh, yeah. How about you? Uh, Dream big. Don't ever dream small. Or, or don't dream at all. Her right here, this one. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.